thing about mobile security issues, um, and especially if, if you've got some background in security and technology, one of the things to realize is that because your your code runs on somebody else's device, there's actually a much bigger attack surface there than, let's say, if your code is running on a server that you control behind firewalls and things of that sort. So there's actually quite a bit of attack surface there. And second of all, mobile devices just collect a lot of information, a lot of information that your browser or your computer doesn't collect. They go with us everywhere. So we, we tend to focus on uh, flaws that would really impact the integrity of the data, um, the information about the individual, and there's a whole bunch of ways that things can go wrong there. Traditional things like a man-in-the-middle attack where developers struggle with how to implement encryption and there's a couple of big mistakes that they make. One of them is um, they try to roll their own, which is a very bad idea and they shouldn't do that. The second thing that, that developers tend to do is they will um, have test code that makes it easy for them to develop without all the security controls in place and sometimes they'll forget to re-enable all of the controls when they go to production um, or they simply won't understand how to do it properly. So there's a lot of different things that can go wrong, um, and it's complicated significantly by the fact that mobile apps contain a lot of third-party code. And so a challenge that folks have is, is not only did I write my application, but did the third-party library that I'm using properly write their code and test it? And when I make an update and they have a new SDK, is that one secure? So there's a lot of things that can go wrong with your data not being protected in transit, with leaving sensitive information on the device, um, configuration issues that will lead to your data being backed up or transmitted, leaving um, too many activities world readable, world accessible, so that other devices, uh, I'm sorry, other apps on the phone can uh, extract information. So there's a great number of things that can, that can go wrong in a mobile app. And what we've always found is, is the best way to deal with that is, is coming from our forensics background is in a very empirical way. You can do a bunch of testing of your code. You can do source code analysis and, and typically generate a lot of false positives. So you spend a lot of time looking at the results. Or you can simply look at your app in a hostile environment and then find out, am I able to intercept the traffic? Do you leave sensitive data on the device? Could I do a SQL injection attack against your mobile app? And that empirical approach has allowed us to eliminate almost all false positives, but to also interrogate the application in a hostile environment, which is exactly what you need to do when you secure your app. And so ultimately, you know, we believe that mobile apps and mobile devices can be a more secure way for enterprises, for agencies to operate. And the important premise to that entire idea is that you make sure that you vet your mobile apps ahead of time so that when they're, when they're actively in a hostile environment, they're able to thwart that attack. And what we find today is about 85% of the apps out there don't successfully repel attack. And so there's a long way that the industry has to go. The great news is, is that um, we built a lot of tooling to, to help address that with, with automation.